Some short towns in Atlantic and Cape May counties hoping to fill vacant lifeguard positions in the next few weeks. That is before the busy tourist season begins. Some even upping their pay to stay competitive. News 12 New Jersey's Erica Such has more. I'm optimistic but I have a feeling that we're probably going to be a little short. Cape May Beach Patrol is hoping to avoid closing off beaches this summer, something they had to do last year, partly because of a lifeguard shortage. This year, they're still looking to fill about 20 positions. Atlantic City in a similar staffing situation with 30 positions to fill. Avalon tells us they're hiring. So what's causing these shortages? And they don't see a lot of seasonal rentals, so the kids uh, from out of town, they're having a really hard time finding a place to stay. That's probably the biggest and most concerning part is I don't think that's going to change. You may have a great applicant in front of you that is asking you, you know, hey, where am I going to live? And I really can't help them with that. Here in Wildwood, they tell us they do expect to be fully staffed for the season. And at $14 an hour, they tell us they're not only competing against Wildwood Crest and North Wildwood, but the businesses here along the boardwalk and the amusement piers. It's a, it's a slight bump. It's a slight raise from last year. Uh, we have to be competitive with the other businesses in town. Each town varying in what they pay. Atlantic City paying $125 a day, where Stone Harbor pays $163 per day. Cape May under contract to pay their guards $13 an hour, whereas Avalon paying nearly $20 an hour. Each beach patrol holding tryouts in the next few weeks and say while they're looking to fill spots, the most important thing is finding the right candidate. Part of our our testing on June 11th of this year is there's an interview process. Uh, so we sit down with, with each candidate and that's where you really start to learn about their maturity level, their thinking ability, their cognitive abilities in terms of how they're going to uh, perform under pressure. In Cape May County, Erica Such, News 12, New Jersey.